Hello everyone. Today what we're going to do is we're going to go over the differences between the new Chrysler 200 and the Dodge Dart. Since they're both based on the same platform, I figured it'd be best to show you the differences between the two vehicles. What I've got here is a 2013 Dodge Dart Limited with a multi-air turbo. And I have a 2015 Chrysler 200 Limited. It also has a 2.4 liter multi-air engine. The vehicles share the same wheelbase. But that's pretty much where the similarities end. The 200 has a much more upscale look to it, whereas the Dart is a more sporty car. They don't share any of the same body panels at all. The transmissions are even completely different. The 2015 200 has a 9-speed automatic transmission, whereas the Dart has a 6-speed automatic transmission. Both vehicles are incredibly nice. The Dart has a more sporty feel when you drive it, whereas the 200 has a more refined feel. So it's all dependent on your preference. Both of the vehicles have really uh, incredible build quality. We're going to take a look at the interior of them. All right, so inside, both vehicles feature the same amenities. Uh, power windows, power mirrors, and power door locks. The mirrors are heated. A-way power driver seat with four-way adjustable lumbar support. They both have cloth interiors. This Dart actually has a sunroof. It is a, uh, it is a limited. Actually, both of the vehicles are limited. It's automatic headlamps, Uconnect audio, cruise control, six-speed automatic transmission with auto stick, illuminated cup holders, I'm going to actually turn the air down. It's probably making a lot of noise. This one has the 8.4 in touchscreen display. It has a navigation, Garmin based. See here. Actually, we'll get inside. All right. Does it have a reverse camera? with guidance lines. One thing that does set the 200 apart from this class of vehicle is that it does have the thin film transistor in, uh, display in the center that is completely uh, customizable. Climate controls are repeated below. You have a 12 volt power point passenger seat folds up to reveal storage on this vehicle overhead you have your sunglasses holder and your sunroof as well all right in the back seat they're very similar to each other they have pretty much the same seat design fold down center armrest storage tray, trunk pass through. The seats are also uh, folding, split folding seats as well. In the back you have a storage tray and both seat backs have mat pockets in them. All right, so the interior of the 2015 200, power windows, power mirrors, and power door locks with heated mirrors. A-way power adjustable seat with four-way adjustable lumbar, very similar to the Dart. The seats are also pretty similar to the Dart. They have a little bit better support and a little bit more cushioning. Automatic headlamps. Different steering wheel though. It does have your trip computer, your Bluetooth Uconnect, cruise control switches that are just a little bit different than what's on the Dodge. Completely different instrument cluster. Has a twin ring design with the center display. This particular vehicle only has the, the basic display with the kind of like digital slash analog readouts for your fuel and temperature. Um, it can be equipped with the entire portion in here as a display screen. 
this vehicle does have um, keyless enter and go with push button start. The console is completely different. Your rotary E shift for your nine speed automatic transmission, electronic parking brake. Because of these, there's no linkage, which really opens up the, the uh, under floor storage in the console for more uh, items. As in the dart, your climate control is and your radio controls are um, replicated. This vehicle does have the Uconnect 5.0 touchscreen display, so it's a five inch touchscreen display. It does have your radio, your Bluetooth, and your phone integration, it has a compass, uh, your climate, and then you can also set your uh, you can also set your display preferences as well within it. Uh, this vehicle also does have a uh, backup camera as well. This one actually has active guidance lines, whereas the Dart does not. Unlike the Dart's passenger seat, this one does not have a storage tray in it. The vehicle does feature a sliding center console. Opens up to reveal USB port, auxiliary port, and a 12 volt power outlet. You also have a pass through here to put your cords through. So you can opt to set your wireless devices down here. Center console also opens up to reveal more storage that's illuminated. And your armrest does slide forward as well. All right, in the back seat, a little bit different door panel design. Integrated cup holders. The seat designs are pretty well the same. Both also feature full down center armrest with integrated storage and a trunk pass through. Both vehicles also have the storage tray in the center console and both seat backs and both vehicles also have mat pockets. The light interior does make it feel more airy though. Alrighty, this does conclude our quick look of the differences between the Dodge Dart and the new Chrysler 200. If you have any questions about these two vehicles, please contact our showroom. One of our friendly sales staff will be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. And as always, thanks for watching.